dating goddess. What is a dating goddess, actually? A, a dating goddess would be a woman that is confident uh, about dating, someone who is gonna do it and she's gonna be successful no matter what. But I think there are some myths about what a dating goddess is and I'm gonna talk about them today. Myth number one, do you need to have a high self-esteem? This is so no truth. That, if that would be true, trust me, many women that are successful in their dating and relationships and love life, they wouldn't be dating, they wouldn't be that successful. You don't need to have a high self-esteem to be a dating goddess because actually you are working in your self-esteem. You know, you don't have to be like, oh my gosh, I can do this, no problem. <laughs> I can handle it. That would be super self-confident, right? You don't have to be like that. It's okay that you're still a bit afraid, but you still do it. That is a dating goddess. Myth number two, be successful. Sometimes I, I sense in women that they feel that they have to be successful in their career in order to date again, or because they are putting first their success because they want to achieve that, and then they're gonna then do the next thing. Or they have to be successful first in their family uh, affairs, if they are single mothers, uh, first they have to achieve that special task, or they are probably business owners, or they are caregivers, etc. Or they are, they are a student probably. You still can be a very successful uh, person in your dating life, if you are not successful in the rest, uh, still, you have to, this is all, always a work in progress. So don't be afraid today if this is something that is happening, is evolving in your life, if you are still not where you want to be. This should never be a break. This should never be an obstacle. That's why I think this is a myth. Myth number three, you need to know exactly who you are. Well, that is true. You need to work on knowing who you are, what you want. This is super true. Clarity is it's so important. I think the most important is, is believing in yourself. Probably still don't know exactly what you want to be in your life, in your life project, right? Either professionally or, or in other areas of your life. So this is what I mean with knowing who you are. You probably know what you don't what you don't want and that's it's already a great place to start so that's why i believe this is a myth because if that would be true many women that are still not 100 percent sure what they want from life who they really are still uh they wouldn't be successful and i see the opposite many many women that are still trying to figure out they are already very happy and very successful in their dating and relationships because it's really not only that that matters. Uh, there are so many things that are much more important than that. And of course, that's why I created this, pro this uh, YouTube channel to help you with that information. Dating goddess myth number four. You need to be fearless. Many women think that those women that are able to date again after uh, a breakup or after they were hurt, they are just simply fearless. This is not true. They still, they are, they're still scared. They are really trying to control that. That's what makes the difference. How you control your own fear and don't let it hold you back. So this is a myth. Those women that are successful in their dating life, lives, they are still, uh, they're still scared, but they still do it. Myth number five, this is my favorite. There is no such thing as a dating goddess. This is especially for uh, the women out there that are giving up, for those women that have a more of the negative attitude. This is more for those women that are also sinning. You just have to ask yourself, if that would be true, how come so many women are happy and fulfilled in their relationships? Some are luck, yes, but some others, like myself and many other women that I know, that they decide, they took the decision, I'm gonna do anything in my power to make it happen. And they did, and they succeed. I'm a living example of 
taking that decision from being a failure, really a real big failure in my relationships to make it happen and being in the relationship I wanted, in my dream relationship. Trust me, it's possible. Not always easy, but it's possible. So yes, this is a myth. When you think that there is no such a thing of a of dating goddess, you are sabotaging your own success, your own happiness. Please be open to understand that all these five are only myths that probably you have t told the, those ideas, you put them there and they play in, your back, in the back of your head. And this is what it's called, those limiting beliefs. But you have to understand that they are only that beliefs. They become myths because they are sometimes popular beliefs. They are myths and everybody, some, not everybody, but some people believe and if somebody else believes them, they become uh, confirmation bias because that means that if somebody believes and you believe it and then you get together and then you say it's a fact, but it's not true. It's still a myth. So I hope you like this video. Um, please subscribe if uh, you find it uh, useful. I'm gonna try to make this uh, kind of informat informative videos for dating and relationships at least once a week. If you have a question, you can either post it on Facebook or post it here on YouTube. And hope to see you in my next video. Bye.